Hey guys, welcome back. Um, I said we were going to do BERT last time, but I decided uh, let's do reinforcement learning using a taxi video game. Now, uh, be in mind, most of the time on my channel, I do supervised learning and then I do unsupervised learning. This is reinforcement learning, another type of machine learning, another branch. And um, reinforcement learning, I have one other video on this. It's basically reinforcement learning for training using Markov's decision process. Now, before we get started, um, basically, uh, Google Colab uh, has issues with... Uh, you know, the render function. So we got to install all these libraries before we get started. So install all this, import OpenAI Gem. So basically import Gem. Environment equals make the taxi version three game environment because a reinforcement learning is where an RL agent is penalized and rewarded in order to go to a state of rest, which he desires into completing the task you assign him in his environment okay so the rl agent is basically the taxi in the video game we're going to penalize him we're going to reward him during the training and he's going to complete his task with very little um penalties needed okay so that's why uh in uh you know, you train the model also in supervised learning, but reinforcement learning is a different kind of training. Okay, so we're going to reset it. We're going to import NumPy, which is scientific computing. Okay, because we're going to do the MP argmax function later, which is the greedy function in reinforcement learning. Okay, matplotlib for visualization, IPython display. Okay. And then you're going to install this library as well, because remember, Colab has some issues with visualization. Okay. And then uh, this is the display. And then you can change this right here if you wanted a different size for the display. Okay. And then uh, install Pygame in case you have any issues. Now, remember, if you guys know or are familiar with this, you guys can change this, but you'll need to change this if it'll be on the same index and you can show it in that mode. Okay, so there's the environment reset, and then there's the previous screen, which we're going to render in the environment. A and V, remember, environment. We're going to I am show the previous screen, and then in this range, you can change this if you want this to, you know, go uh, for more of a range, meaning more episodes. Observation, reward, done. This is basically a default reward. Later, we're going to get to training, and this is going to get a little more complex. Okay, the action, and the environment step is the action. Render, the RGB array. Okay, PLT, I am show, screen. Okay. If done, then break, and then you got to pass these right here so this will show. Now, uh, let's show it in its environment. Okay, you guys see the taxi? As you can see, it's kind of a default reward, so he's doing the best he can do. And then later, uh, when this is over, we're going to show the action space. We haven't even gotten to training. And uh, this is encoded at this. And then this is the state, remember? The environment encoding. So basically where he's at. Okay. There we go. Because remember, all things want to go to a state of rest. Okay. And then remember, the state's going to be at 328. Epochs is zero. Epochs is episodes. It's the same thing in uh, neural networks with uh, iterations. Penalties and rewards, zero, zero. We're just going to leave it simple. When really, in reinforcement learning, you want to penalize. You always want to penalize because they'll get lazy. More than you want to reward if you can. Okay. 
And now we're going to show them in the ANSI version. Okay, time steps taken in this format for the epochs and penalties. Okay, use a little Boolean logic right there. If you guys know a little bit about this, go feel free to do it on your own. And actually, after this video, don't take my word for it. Change it if you want after you learned. Okay, and then we can see it uh, going down there. So as you can see, he's uh, gained a lot of penalties at 765 epochs, basically. He had 233 penalties. Now, let's show him in the frames. Okay. Because we printed the frames, remember? We're enumerating. Here, let me show you. In the def function in Python, we're printing the frames. You can see him going, right? He's having a lot of penalties, errors. Okay, and then as you can see, the reward is negative 10. You can see how he's training, and then you can see the action, and you can see the state, and then you can see the time step. From right there, it's printing it. And then you can see the direction he's headed, you see? Now, guys, I wanted to let you guys know, uh, obviously you guys know if you're watching this video, Teslas, um, uh, this is one way Teslas are used, program. Uh, of course, they use neural networks, Markov's decision process. This is just OpenAI Gym Library. Because, <clears throat> of course, reinforcement learning uh, gets more complicated. In fact, Israel automated drone warfare using this. Yeah, of course, our CNNs for the identifying a target and the reinforcement learning for automating, you know, the drone flying itself. Okay. He had 20 rewards. Okay. Now, uh, let's train. Okay, at, uh, now let's go through the code. You see, at 10, at 100,001 episodes in this range, he's going to train. Always do the Eppelson at this range, no matter what you're doing. Import those libraries as well. And then state and it equals environment reset. Epochs, penalties, and rewards. The reason I did a penalty of one and a reward of zero is because if you reward him too little, I mean, uh, you reward him too much, he gets lazy. You penalize him once, basically, he's got to feel some pain, you know? And this is what I was talking about. Remember the code up there? The environment action space sample. Okay? And then MP argmax, computing the state, the greedy function in Python, which is action, equal to this all. Done equals false, while not done. And then at this range of Eppelson. Okay. Now, uh, the state in the action is the old value. And then the new value, the training is finished. Use a little Boolean logic right there. If reward is, you know, negative 10, we want to use a little Boolean logic right there. And then the state equals the next state under this condition. And then for the epochs, because it's got to keep going. Okay. Training is finished. For 100,000 episodes. Okay, the Q table. And uh, let's see how he does. Epochs 1. You know what, guys? Let's change it right here. He's got to feel a little pain. In fact, guys, uh, feel free, you know, for every range in episodes. Penalties one in the range of episodes. Oh. So we had uh, 12 penalties per episode. Let's see how we did compared to before. 
he had um, 233 penalties. And let me look at the time steps for each episode. 765. Okay. Now let's see how he did. Remember, guys, the penalties. Don't reward him too much. You know, guys, if you want, you also could change that if you want. But change it up there as well. Okay. So he had a... Uh, about 12 and then but he had very little time steps as you guys see like uh one percent i guess you could say okay now uh the rgb array remember this is not that little atari thing and if you change this because you guys know what you were doing you got to change it down there as well you guys remember and then here's where we change it remember the action of the environment step and then info and done you always need to pass these two however you can change these if you guys want to do something different the reward or the penalty then penalty and then the state because remember it's showing the state he's at in the episodes and the penalty, which is very various. Okay. Here's where I got that. Um, the state, the penalty, the reward. Okay. And then the epochs. In range of the episodes. Okay, and then remember, PLT, I am show the previous screen. Mm. Nah, let's do penalty. And it's got to be four right here, and definitely here if you want to visualize it. But always do the state so you know where he's at. Because we're going to visualize them down here, you see? But he's going to be in a slightly different environment. In fact, each time when you guys do this, it'll be over here, you know, the where he's supposed to go. And uh, for the Rage of Episodes, this is going to go a little while, you guys see? So 100 episodes in Range of the Episodes. This is just for fun down here. You guys see? So each time you render the environment and you reset it, remember, he's kind of uh, adapting because it's somewhat new. Okay. Random uniform in the Appleson function. So what we did different, guys, was so you can visualize it in the screen, we passed two different parameters. It's about to be finished in a little while. Now remember, um, 233 penalties, right? So remember, when we rewarded him a lot, he did pretty terrible. But, as you can see, the time steps, very little, and then only 12 penalties each episode. It's about to be done in a second.
And uh, just wanted to let you guys know, um, you guys see how it's a little different, different place. And uh, one more thing, an agent, you can train them in different environments as well. And you can do uh, different video games with this uh, thing right here, OpenAI Gym. In fact, uh, change this right here to another game. Go online, do what I did, and then uh, using the same method or adapting your own, you know, you can program them to do different things in different environments. Reinforcement learning has come a long way. Many people have used it to automate many different things. Not just reinforcement learning for trading, which I did on my own channel. Oh, there he is. Okay. So anyways, guys, if you guys are new to my channel um, and you guys like my content, feel free to like and subscribe. Share also. There's many more things on my channel I wanted to let you guys know. Um, I've got everything from ML Pipelines using SageMaker, getting models approved for production and all that, monitoring them. I've got uh, ML web apps with Streamlit, AI web apps with Streamlit. I've got all kinds of stuff. On Render Cloud, Streamlit Cloud, and uh, I've got image classification, multi-class and binary class, all kinds of data sets. You name it, I pretty much got it. Um, Hyper-tuning parameters, simple things. Check out my channel. Um, it's, it's I've got like over 100 videos. So if you're here right now, most likely there's something you need also on my channel. Various SageMaker models, Google Cloud deployments, Azure deployments. You name it, I got it. In fact, leave a comment if there's something you needed but it wasn't on my channel. Feel free. I'll respond. I get enough comments. I'll do it. Anyways, guys, stay tuned and uh, feel free to share. And if you're already subscribed, um, you know, like my content, share it. Thank you, guys. Till next time. Bye.